Have you seen people streaming on TikTok? And I'm not talking about those people where they have their phone just pointed at their setup saying, please follow me at Twitch, whatever, but actually streaming really good looking quality videos. You're probably wondering how they did that. Well, I'm gonna tell you how. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys how to get a stream key, how to use OBS to stream on TikTok, and then how to use TikTok Studio Live to stream on TikTok. Now keep in mind, whatever section you came here for, there's gonna be chapters down below, so please use those to get to this point that you want to use of this video. Now, first things first, let's go ahead and talk about the elephant in the room. How do you actually get a key to stream on TikTok? Now, these are the two ways that I know of. There might be some other options, but these are the two that I know how to do. Number one, you gotta be big enough to where people actually care about you to give you a, a stream key. I honestly don't know what that number looks like. I don't know what the requirement is for that. I don't know what you need, but if you have a large enough following on TikTok, you will get a stream key to stream on TikTok. Now, another way you can do it, because I definitely don't have that many followers on TikTok, is you can actually get an agency to represent you. Now, what that means is that you actually have a company that's representing you for TikTok Live, and then there are certain criteria you have to meet. So for instance, for this example, I am actually using Pipeline as my agency. If you guys don't know what Pipeline is, Pipeline basically is a community that teaches people about streaming and stuff like that. There are a whole playbook that is taught out by Stone Mountain and also Snoopay to teach you how to stream, what their mindset is around it and stuff too. There's also a great community around it. If you guys wanna learn more about that, just hit this link in the description below. It is an affiliate link. No, this is not sponsored by them. No, they didn't see this. But in case you wanna know more, there you go. I don't know about any other agencies out there, but again, personally, I've been with Pipeline for a long time, so they're my agents and that's what I went through. Now, that's the first thing is that you actually need someone to represent you. Number two is that you need a thousand followers on TikTok to go ahead and do it. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and apply for that through the agency. Once the agency has you apply, there is a grace period in which you have to stream a couple of times just to show that you're a real person apparently. And then once you go through that trial period, then you'll get your stream key. And then once you get your stream key, there's another trial period you have to go through to make sure you keep your stream key. If you guys know of other ways, please leave it down in the description below as I'm sure that a lot of people are gonna be wondering how to get a stream key. But currently at the time of this video, those are the two ways that I know how to. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about how you actually set it up with OBS and also TikTok Live Studio on the computer. So let's head over to the computer and get you going. All right, now that we know how to get a stream key, let's go ahead and talk about how to actually use that stream key and start streaming on TikTok with OBS or TikTok Live Studio. So first thing is first, please make sure you guys have OBS. If you do not have OBS, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so you can download it. No, it's not an affiliate link or anything, but it's gonna be down there in case you don't have it. If you do have it, Start following these steps. Now, once you have OBS downloaded, make sure you guys actually find the folder where it is located. You're gonna need two versions of OBS and to do this, it's very simple. So just follow these quick steps. So what you wanna do is go to File Explorer. Once you go to File Explorer, if you saved it in the default spot, you wanna to go to your disk C, local disk, and then go to Program Files, regular one, and then find where it says OBS Studio. Now what you wanna to to do is copy this entire folder. You do not have to re-download it, just copy it, that will work. If you're on a Windows based computer, it's gonna be control C to copy it, or you can just right click and you can hit copy. And then what you wanna do is you wanna make a new folder for this to live in. So we're gonna go ahead and just do new folder. We're gonna do tick tock OBS. Now we're gonna go ahead in that folder and we're gonna go ahead and paste it. Keep in mind, if you are on Mac, it is actually command C to copy and command B to paste. But if you're on PC, all you do is control B and it will paste it continue. Basically what this is doing is taking an entire copy of your current OBS and is moving it over to this. There's still another step we have to do for this. So once we have this pasted in here, we want to go to OBS Studio. Then you want to click into bin, go to 64-bit. Now we're going to look for the .exe file, which is the actual one that runs the application, which we found right here. Now what you're going to do is either you're going to send this to your desktop, which basically creates a shortcut. So you can do that, now you have a shortcut, or you can go ahead and send this and pin to taskbar. I personally like taskbar. If you have anything on your desktop, you're a savage and we can't be friends. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna right click on OBS Studio. You're gonna right click again on OBS Studio. And then you're gonna wanna go to properties. Now at the end of the target, what you're gonna wanna do is hit it space. And then you're gonna do a dash, dash. I'm talking about the dashes right next to your plus button or right next to the number nine on a regular keyboard. Then you're gonna type in portable. 
then you're gonna hit apply hit okay and then one more thing and this is actually something you should be doing on your normal version of obs to make sure you're not running into any issues right click on obs right click on the obs studio go to properties again go to compatibility and then you're gonna make sure you have this clicked run this program as an admin if you don't it's gonna cause problems so make sure you run it as admin now you're gonna click on this to open it now when I did this on my stream PC, I'm pretty sure the canvas was in the correct size, but we're going to go through that. We're going to fix it. So don't worry. Don't fret. We're going to make it vertical. Now you will notice at the top of it, it says portable mode. So that is good. That means we did the command properly. We are now in portable mode of OBS. So if this didn't for some reason open up in a vertical format, we're going to go over to our settings really quick. We're going to go down to video. And now if you notice, this says 1920 by 1080. What we want to do is we want to reverse that. So we want to take this and we want to paste it over here. We want to type in 1920. Fix that. This basically just changes the output. So we want to make sure we're doing it in 1080p, unless of course your computer is not that strong. I'll talk about that more later. Hit OK. Apply. OK. Now we have vertical. So now what you want to do is on your main version of OBS, you're going to have to do something called a virtual camera. So basically what you want to do is right down here, you want to click on start virtual camera. And this is basically going to send a copy of whatever you see on your version of OBS to what's called your virtual camera. Why this is important is because you cannot capture a video device twice in two different places. So to be able to capture your webcam on your regular version of OBS and also your TikTok version of OBS, you will need a virtual camera. So what we're going to do in the regular version of OBS is we are going to start a virtual camera so now that we have a virtual camera let's go over here to sources let's click this plus button add video capture device we're going to call this webcam hit okay and we're going to go down to obs virtual camera and okay there we go now clearly you don't want to capture this entire thing right because you only want to capture your webcam which is probably here or maybe like over here as long as you're looking at the gameplay that's the correct way to do it i'm just kidding you set it, set it the way you want but what we want to do is we want to make sure that we actually crop this image down because if you try and make it smaller, you're just making the entire thing smaller, right? So it's not changing anything. So what you want to do, we're going to pretend we're going to crop for our actual OBS program in the middle. We're going to crop this down. Now to do that, you want to hold on Windows, hold Alt and click on this little square here and drag this in. Notice how it's green now and it's not changing the size of anything, right? So it's not rescaling or anything like that. It's actually cropping the sides in. You want to do that to basically fit your webcam. Then boom, now you can place it wherever you want. And then again, just like regular OBS, you would add your gameplay. You would add maybe like an image to fill in the space here. Depending on what kind of game you're playing, you might want, might want this to take up the entire middle. You might want it to be a little bit expanded so it's easier to see. But if you're playing something like a FPS game, a lot of the action is in the center. So you might expand it to do this. Choose what's best for you or, or even play it around with it and see what you feel like people are most captivated by and then go with that that you feel is best. But let's just pretend we actually set this up and we have our scenes all ready to go because we have our game and stuff like that. Now let's go ahead and set up the actual settings to actually stream on TikTok. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the file, the top left corner, and then go to settings. So first things first, you want to change, you want to go to stream. This is going to be where you actually change it to where you can stream on TikTok. Now you're going to go to custom. Now it's going to ask you for your server and your stream key. You get these from your actual, like your TikTok live room, I think is what it's called. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that and give you a couple notes along the way. But you want to make sure on your desktop browser, you go to TikTok because you cannot get this from mobile. So now in the top right hand corner, just go to your face, your profile. Good looking dude right there. Go to Live Center. Keep in mind Live Studios. If you got invited to the Live Beta, we're going to talk about that afterwards. So let's go to Live Center. On the left, we're going to go to Live Room. And there we go. Let's run through these really quick. And Live Video means basically whenever the stream ends, this video ends. I feel like it hasn't worked for me in the past, but you can go enable it and try it. I just basically make sure I end my TikTok Live. Just make sure you do that. Enabling comments, make sure people can comment on your actual stream if you want. They can give you live gifts. I don't even know what gifts are. I think you get money. I mean, I don't know. I got 69 cents one time, which is pretty cool, but <laughs> that's about it. There's also a mature theme to basically make sure that you are saying that this is a mature stream. 
It's not going to save you from swearing and all that other stuff. You still might get banned for that, so just keep that in mind. And also, please make sure you follow the TikTok TOS. Now, at the bottom here, we see server URL and stream key. Once we go through all this and we actually set up our live info, right? So we go here. We're going to be playing a game, right? There's a lot of other things you can do. Food, fitness, that kind of stuff. So you go to game and you go to Apex, Apex, then we hit save. Once we hit save and we actually hit go live, this will actually populate with the stream URL and the stream key. The stream URL, the server URL will stay the same every single time. The stream key is going to change every single time. <laughs> so keep that in mind. This you will have to copy and paste every single time for the stream key. You won't have to do that with the server URL. So then we would just go over here and then paste those. One thing to note, TikTok Live Studio, you don't have to actually do that every time. You basically just click live and it goes live. Your stream key and your server settings are automatically put in there. It makes life so much easier. So if you get invited to that beta, I would highly recommend doing it. Or if you have the option to download this in the future, just download that. It makes your life way more simpler. Okay, so now that we're assuming that we actually have that set up properly, let's go ahead and go to the actual output. Now, I'm going to tell you, I do a dual stream PC setup. My second PC is as strong as a regular gaming PC with an i7 and a like 3070 card in there. So I basically just max this bad boy out. You might have to go around and figure out some of these settings. If you don't know how to adjust these, then go to like a best performance OBS uh, tutorial and figure that out. What you can play with i'm going to give you a couple suggestions in case you guys are having a hard time streaming on tiktok of what you can do to basically decrease your quality a little bit but still be able to stream so with this for output mode i went to advanced settings i then went to from x265 to nvenc new if you guys have a graphics card that is above a 1660 ti i believe is where they put it you actually have an encoder on your gpu if you have an encoder on your gpu this is the one you want to use if not you might want to do x265 to, to, you might want to do x264 so click on this constant bit rate we want to keep that so basically it's just a target bit rate of where it wants to stay all the time uh this i basically just left at 250 that was it keyframe intervals i left at zero i left presets at quality i left profile at high so this psycho tuning you don't really need this these are if you really have a powerful gpu you can try these but this just takes up more resources gpu i left at zero this is if you need to have like a dual setup or dual gpu setup which you know you do if you do probably wouldn't be watching it maybe and then max b frames two good Hit apply now we're good to go now next we're going to go to video now we kind of set this up earlier to where we did 1080p by 1920. so again my recommendation if you're having a hard time streaming i have heard that a doing 720p looks just fine on the phone which i believe it because i mean it's such a small screen secondly if you're still having trouble, you can actually try and decrease this down to FPS to 30. And again, I've heard that this still looks good on mobile and people can't really tell the difference. So just as a heads up, those are a couple things you want to do. If you want to stream at 1080 or 720, just click your output scale. Don't do not, not change your base canvas output scale to 720. I left this at by cubic then 30. If you have a problem doing a dual stream, try changing some of these and then lowering it to this and it'll run less heavy on your computer click OK that's it that is actually how you use OBS to stream on TikTok now if you guys do have access or if you just downloaded TikTok studio because it makes it way easier we're gonna go through TikTok studio and how to set that up now I'm kind of ahead of the curve I already logged in First, what's going to happen when you open this, it's going to ask you if you want to import your settings from OBS or from another program, or if you just want to set it up regularly, I chose to set up regularly. If it asks you to log into your account, I just basically chose to scan the QR code. The way that you scan the QR code is you go to your TikTok, your actual TikTok on your phone, then this top left hand corner, top right, I'm sorry, top right hand corner, you see that little square with the line, click that, that will allow you to scan the actual QR code then it'll log you in automatically or just log in any other way that you want. So when you're just starting fresh, because I wanted to show this fairly, this is what it's going to look like. Now, first things first, let's go ahead and capture our camera because that's going to be the most difficult thing to do. If you're trying to capture your camera, you cannot add your camera source in two different places. So if you're trying to dual stream, then you're going to have to use what's called a virtual camera. Virtual camera is, is on your main version of OBS. You actually have this button right down here, which says start virtual camera. When you do that, it's going to take everything that this is capturing and it's going to make a 
virtual version of it or basically make what's called a like virtual camera. So once you have that started, go over to this and then go to add camera. When you want to go to add camera, it's going to give you the option of an OBS virtual camera. We're going to click add source. And there we go. Now, one thing I learned kind of quick, if you do drag in and out from this section here, it is going to actually stretch it. So don't do that. But to crop this down to fit our webcam, in case you watch the OBS, we already know how to do it. If not, then go ahead and if you're on Windows, hold down Alt, click and drag this over. If you notice, it's not changing the actual size, right? So it's not adjusting it or stretching it or anything like that. So that will actually crop in the image to make sure that you're cropping down to what you want. If I want to, I can just crop down to this. Let's just pretend like this right here is a webcam. There we go. One thing to note that I'm just, I just kind of fiddled with is just be careful because it looks like it basically stretches the thing whenever it does that. Um, even like holding shift isn't letting me just change the overall size. So just be careful you don't stretch the image when you actually are moving around. That's really strange I did that. But anyways, but essentially once you add that webcam, you would basically just start adding other sources. So again, you'd add like gameplay screen and that kind of stuff too. And get it to line up the way that you want. I've seen some people where they have a gameplay where it's like this and then they leave this bottom blank so that way whenever you're watching on TikTok all the text start popping up there and that's kind of like your chat box pretty much or they put like a logo there or something so change this and edit this way that you want to. Once we have your scene set right so once you have your webcam there and everything in there and we see that our sound is working perfectly fine then we're going to want to go down to this which is your settings. Now in here you can do a speed test to help you determine what quality you should do. You also have the ability to choose a few different things. So 720 plus, which means it's in 60 frames a second, which takes about 4000 bit rate on top of what you're doing in regular OBS. So keep that in mind if you have something that's not fiber because fiber is awesome and everything else is pretty trash. Just kidding. <laughs> or you can do regular 720 and it's at 30 frames a second and it is at 2000 for a bit rate or you can go below that. So again, if you're struggling, just work your way down and then try and get it to work. I feel like I've heard 720p looks fine even at 30 frames a second, but you can try and test it out and see if you like it or not. Go from there. Once you figure that out, you can literally just click your live settings right here and then adjust it. So again, gaming, chatting, whatever. So we can do Apex and then we can hit save. We can just literally hit start stream and it would automatically start the stream. No setting your server settings, no setting your URL or anything like that. It's just automatically there and set for you. Now, one thing I will know before I let you guys go to the end of the video is basically that uh, with this, I'm pretty sure studio does take up a bit more memory. Like I feel like the memory usage on it is a decent amount. So you might be better off with OBS if you're really struggling quality wise or be able to keep up with it. Because even just with this sitting here, you can see that it's using about 40% of my RAM, which is kind of crazy. But I will say having a dual PC setup, I do like using TikTok Live Studio way better than OBS for streaming on TikTok, personally. So but that's basically it. Let's go ahead and go to the ending portion of the video and hopefully this helped you guys out. But uh, yeah, let's go, uh, let's go close this video out. And that is it. That is how you guys actually stream on TikTok with OBS and also with TikTok Live Studio. Hopefully you guys found this guide helpful. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comment section down below. Really appreciate it. Also, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot as a creator. Also, if you like the content that I'm putting out with this, or if you want vlogs or how to or tech videos, definitely hit that subscribe button as that's what I'm pumping out these days. And I really appreciate if you guys come say hi to me live on TikTok <laughs> or Twitch or anyone else. And make sure you just follow all my socials below to connect with me. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make it to the end. And um, happy streaming. No, no, that's Harris's thing. We're not saying that. Go create something awesome. That's what we're saying. Have fun.